So at zero percent, we'll have no penalty, I guess. And that will actually, over time, improve the amount of political power gain, gain we're getting. Although it won't be a massive increase. Leadership purges in the Soviet Union. And there we go, we've expanded this academia. So with that, I think we now want army reform, so we can start working towards that. Although we're not getting a lot of army experience. So we can hold off on that for a little while. Maybe get some more infrastructure and production. So no Japanese war lasted from 37 to 45, you got plenty of time. Yeah, I'm aware of that. I was hilarious watching Ultra Hill's game yesterday. He was getting so frustrated that the war wasn't going quicker. I was like, this is like one of the biggest grinds in history. Well, it's not literally one of the biggest grinds. Well, actually it probably was. Just through the sheer number of casualties and things inflicted. Well, we've made great progress in improving the life of our urban population. A few more kilometers separate them from the peasants living in medieval conditions. We'll ensure that every one of our citizens can enjoy the fruits of our labor. And technology, which is going to be a doctrine, I think. We're going to continue down this line. Make use of the 7% uh, bonus. Even though I still don't have the all of the industrial techs. Which is leaving me feeling weird. I'm not prioritizing technology. Something's wrong here. Japan is one of the worst militaries in the war, it's great. I'm not sure I agree with that. Construction. Okay, uh, 36 still, we've got another six months, so I think we're gonna get basic machine tools. Then I might even wait for this one before getting the uh, central line. So those are pretty big bonuses. Because I'm already at my cap. The cap is massively reduced because I'm playing on Elite. Oh, efficiency speed is reduced by not having enough resources. Interesting. Okay. And I'm actually overcoming my limit. Despite the fact that my entire army is training right now. I really feel like I should be getting more armies out. Rather than just training. Yeah, we're going to stop. Estimated 17 to 22 million Chinese civilian deaths. 1.3 million Chinese military deaths and 400 to 700,000 Japanese military deaths. That's a pretty damn big grind. Yeah, exactly. German invasion of the USSR was probably worse. Probably. So with that, we're going to start training some more of these, as and when we get resources. I, I understand we don't have any right now, but we will. I thought at least one of my other commanders had a trait available. Apparently it's only this chap. I'm a little concerned that we are limited to only three. So if I take one of these just kind of off the cuff, is that going to stop me getting something better later? Like having a thorough planner on a field marshal would probably be quite good. Infantry leader would be amazing for him.
Max army size plus six. That's cool. General max army group size plus two. Ooh. Screw it, I'm gonna do it just because I I wanna give traits and yes. Can indeed only have one more. Okay, good to know. Royal reconstruction is done. So next up is going to be mining commission. Resource gain plus ten percent. Not exactly what I need, but I would very much like to get these. Resources are critical for the war effort. We must take charge of our mining industry to ensure that we have the resources we need. Does that actually show inflation somewhere? Or is it literally just a? It's just a modifier here. Okay. I don't know if other nations have inflation. I think that might only be China. Yeah, nobody else really cares. Our unaligned up nation's still not allowed to puppet. Were they not allowed to puppet? That's something I never knew. I don't know, is the answer. How's the stability? Stability's increased pretty rapidly, pretty pretty well. So was the peace thingy repeatable? No, apparently not. Political opposition have obtained more political support points than us. They demand national leadership. What are political support points? Is that just something for the warlords, I wonder? Right. It's November, so yes, I'm going to hold off and I want to rush up construction so we can get more construction going. So let's get the Type 24 guns right now. Hope not, that would mean Vanilla Kaiser can't pop it. Which I'm pretty sure he can, because can't he pop it like Poland? As a buffer against... Russia. Because at that point, the Soviet Union becomes the big bad. Rather than Nazi Germany. So you basically have a red alert um, scenario. Mobilization speed, that's okay, so mobilization speed is different because I think that modifies how quickly you get manpower. So manpower, when you tech up in manpower, is not just instant. It's a uh, trickle over time, and I think that's related to mobilization speed. I don't know whether that applies to anything else. Direct rule from Berlin. Region-wide industrial integration. Shanghai, add one building slot. Is that because I built up the infrastructure there? Yeah, I think that's because it has level 10 infrastructure. You can get an extra building slot. That's cool. Ah, we're building military factories now. Good. Shanghai is improving. Why was there just a Russian sound? D did I just imagine that there was a Russian sound effect, like when you're moving troops? That was weird. Resources are critical for the war effort. We must take charge of our mining industry to ensure that it produces the things we need. Uh, okay, so I can't do this one. 
Oh, because we need Shang Tsi for that. I see. And that's going to go up to heavy inflation if we do this. Which will do what? I'm going to do it. We're going to go up to heavy inflation. Hopefully this doesn't then lead to a... Did it again. Acknowledged. Affirmative. There. That. Where is that coming from? Why? Am I going crazy? Am, am I hearing Russian voices here? It just happened again while I was talking. I feel like I'm going mad. Didn't you say that infrastructure increases resource gains so I don't increase the infrastructure in the tile of steel? It's not a bad idea. Uh, right now, I want to get more military factories going though. The main reason I did uh, Nanjing or Shanghai is because it has the most infrastructure potential, oh, sorry, um, factory potential. I mean, if I was doing any nation except for China or Japan, I'd probably be doing civilian factories here to build up my industry more in general. Okay, it's not just me. Thank you, Foxbat. <laughs> How bizarre. How absolutely bizarre. So why are you shining? Oh, because we got access to the Mining Commission. And it'll cost nothing. Oh, now that's interesting. It costs nothing, so we may as well. We'll just replace it later. Um, right, technology. January. We want construction. A true Bolshevik conspiracy paradox not biased at all. And hello, Chernobyl. Carry your warfare experiments. Yeah, you keep on doing that. That's totally fine. You you go develop your carriers. I'm I'm totally happy with you developing your carriers. I have no idea how far down this line they've gone now. I do like that the garrison increase the uh, number of troops they can command. That's cool. Because I do remember times where I just wouldn't assign a uh, garrison commander. I'd use a field marshal. Just because they could have hundreds of thousands of troops just to guard like the most ridiculous borders. With just really small divisions. Right, so Shanghai is almost done with the next factory, which would be lovely. Oh, and of course my deficit's now going to be increasing. Wait, that deficit's gone down. Of course, because I'm producing more resources. Ha <laughs> ha! Duh! Okay, so we've developed the uh, arsenal. Now we really do need to reduce our inflation. So we could do price controls, which would reduce it. National Bank would reduce it again. Or we could go towards these and get some more stability and stuff. I don't think I need to right now. We're going to go financial policy. The state's finances are not particularly solid, and the ambitious programs of government raise the spectre of a runaway hyperinflation. Financial reform must be one of our first priorities. Ah, and the first units are becoming available. Marvellous. Let's go ahead and put you in Hibai. It's 
start you training up. Can try to go fascist. Imagine the manpower available. Why would fascist increase your manpower? That's a doctrine thing. And no, I don't think they can. Unless they get puppeted by China, of course. Well, actually, no, they can. Hang on. Yeah, maybe they can. Because you can collaborate. Although that's just purely naval technology. Oh, you need to have completed one of those in order to renegotiate that, and then you can go for the conquering the rest of China militarily rather than annexing them. War goal. I think China's going for us. They are. Well, here we go. In default focus, fascism gives the Youth Academy manpower buff thing. Well, we're not default focuses, so no. We're still getting guns in, though I suspect. That, oh no, deficits actually being overcome, slowly but surely. Uh, the other thing that I really must do is try and upgrade some of my crappy soldiers like these guys to regular status. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. Cost me some gear, I know. And you too. Go and join them. Oh, you're acclimatized. For heat. Interesting. Seems like China only gets democracy in their focus tree. Uh, right, nationalism is probably where it would be. Yeah, I mean, they are fighting the fascists. So that wouldn't surprise me. Replace heavy inflation with hyperinflation. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, we definitely need the uh, price controls sorted. Makes me nervous that you're going for uh, this one already. It's not far off. Yeah, here they come. They're starting to mass. I mean, we are pretty darn well entrenched at this point. Except for the guys that are training. You know what? The two of you that are training... Get back in line. Get your entrenchment up, people. There we go. We've got better guns. Let's get that upgraded. Get those pumped out as quickly as possible. Right, now we definitely do need to buy in some more steel. Oh, Germany. We apparently have a land connection, so it's not costing me any convoys. And let's go for the industry. Concentrated industry. Let's do it. Am I nervous? I'm not nervous. I'm, t I'm totally not nervous. I'm, I'm chill. I'm completely chill. <sighs> we just get a third guy? No, we already put in three. Oh, I see. They're not automatically being added to this force. I see the problem. How's the infrastructure here? It is totally fine. We're not going to have a problem.
Marco Poli bridge act incident. Oh, we also got financial policy. Let's do that first. No, we'll do that in a minute. Japanese soldiers recently launched an attack on the strategic Marco Polo Bridge just south of Beijing, but they were repelled by our brave soldiers. No doubt this is an orchestrated event aimed at placing blame on us for forcing us to surrender more territory, just like the Mukden incident with the Japanese invader Manchuria. How should we respond? Uh, they can take Beijing, which I don't want to do. Breaking point. Japan gained an ex war goal against us. Right, I think it's time for army reform. No, I really need the price controls though. We're still a ways away from 100 experience, so we're going to go price controls. First step to keep inflation under control is to ensure that key goods are sold at fixed prices. This will not be popular with the merchant class. Japan declared war. Alright. Let's see how we do holding the line. Bearing in mind, we still have the minus 50% defense bonus here. Penalty. Whatever. Polish-Romanian alliance. The Poles and the Romanians have announced a renewed commitment to each other's defense. Although good relations exist between the two nations, and so no, I do not have historic on. This is going to be an ahistoric playthrough. The Kingdom of Romania. It's definitely ahistoric. Guaranteeing... Czechoslovakia, Poland, Turkey, and Greece. That's going to be interesting. It's going to be Poland and Romania versus Germany now. Naval invasions. I have that well in hand. I'm kind of tempted to reorganize and reposition my cavalry. So that I can use them as an emergency garrison force if I need to. Right, you called in your puppet. Hindenburg. Disaster was narrowly averted today when diesel fuel leak was discovered in the German passenger ship Hindenburg. Alright, so we're at war. and We'll take a minute to explore that in a minute because that has changed. War propaganda against Japan will cost me 50 political power. And will give us war support plus 1% for 90 days. That's going to be plus 90%. No. Plus... 10%-ish war support. Which is increasing our mobilization speed. It's increasing division core attack and defense. And also daily command power. Improved worker conditions is stability, which I would still like to get. Industrial land appropriation. Reduces war support and stability, but it means that we get another building slot. We don't need building slots so much right now. Is army reform going to cost me any... No, it's just experience. Okay, it's not a political power event. Or... We could hold out and get the political... H.H. H. Kung. No, oh, that's a plus 15 stability right there. Send volunteers from the Soviets. Yes, please do. Please do. I'm actually really tempted to do a counterattack and take this chunk of land. It's probably a really stupid idea, though. Whose side is Shang Tsi on? I might need to shift over there and defend them as well. Oh, cripe. Okay, you guys are idiots. Um, I'm glad I spotted that. Front line is there. You've just lost your uh, entrenchment bonus, though. Because they started moving. Quickly, re entrench! Re entrench!
Japanese and Chinese forces are skirmished inclusively over the strategic Marco Polo Bridge located just southwest of Beijing. Where is Beijing? There. So Marco Polo must be one of these. Probably there. And we do have a research slot available. Um, still doing the doctrine. We're in no position to get better artillery. I think we probably just want this. Support weapon increase. Because that will give us uh, infantry defense plus five. Yeah, that's what we want. Okay, here they come. Holding pretty well on all fronts so far. Except here, but I can cycle troops in. That's fine. Getting more war support would be quite useful. No, we're saving it. We're saving it! It's fine. We'll be fine. Everything's fine. Naval offensive failed. You're struggling because you're being attacked on multiple different sides. So your defensive bonus right now should be pretty dramatic. It's decent. Hey, Dana. <laughs> 